Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate basic dynamic analysis on this malware named Hanuman. I will be using five tools. The tools are a paid DNS, Process Explorer, Process Monitor, Red Shot, Wireshark. As you can see the malware is being zipped, as it is malicious. For this analysis, I will start by unzipping the malware. The malware is being protected by password, as it prevents unauthorized people from using it. Before I run Hanuman, I would launch all the tools required for analyses. I will start from Wireshark by clicking the interface list to capture packets from active devices. You can see the number of packets are increasing. Click start to begin. Then you can see the packets are beginning to load. After that, I will start the server for a main DNS. Then you can see that the server starts successfully. Finally, I would launch Process Explorer. Let me maximize it first, and then Process Monitor. And finally taking the first shot using red shot. Let's wait for a while letting it to take the shot. Now. Now I will start to launch Hanuman. Firstly, I will begin to analyze using Process Explorer. As you can see what the processes that are running on the computer, which is similar as Windows Task Manager, I would start by looking at the properties of Hanuman, and can take a look at different tabs. For performance graph, you can see the CPU usage. Private bytes and I.O. for Hanuman. It does not require any CPU usage under the Strings tab. Let's scroll down and see what we can find. Here are two websites that Hanuman may connect with and Now scroll down and you can see here a 4D LL imported with its functions that are in Hanuman. Further analyses on the DLL are shown in basic static analysis. By looking at the strings, you can see that Hanuman may be trying to create a server on the victim's computer. I would proceed to see the handles and the LL created by Hanuman by clicking on the lower pane icon for the LL. As you can compare with its properties, there are many new D LL created by Hanuman. Four handles, you can see the keys and threads that are created by Hanuman. Secondly, I would proceed to analyze using Process Monitor to take a look at the file operations. Since there are so many file operations, I would start by filtering out by entering the process name of Hanuman. 
Let's wait for a while for it to apply filter for the process name. Name. You can see that all the process for handyman is being filtered out. Operations such as create file, which means that it's either create open file. I would filter out the operation for create file to see what files are being created by handyman. Let's wait for a while for it to apply filter of the operation. Hanuman has either create all these P, L, L, or open them. So for this case you can see that Hanuman create W, S, 2, 32, P, L, L, in system 32. Now let us look at other operations. For read file is used to see the file Hanuman is trying to read by jumping into the file. And you can see the P, L, L. Hanuman is trying to read. a look at the path. Now let us take a look at the create file mapping operation which is to load the file from disk to memory and for this case it load the PLL and manipulate it. From here you can see that it is trying to manipulate M, S, W, S, O, C, K, B, L, L. It shows the registries that are being added, deleted or edited, for registries. We will look into during red shot now. I would proceed to analyze using wire shark. I would filter the packets by protocol types by entering the protocol type in here. I would try to filter out DNS which is domain name system to check for Hanuman. If it is trying to connect to the internet or any private network, LLMNR is linked local multicast name resolution which is a protocol based on DNS. Packet format that allows to perform name resolution for hosts on the same a local link. Therefore, from here, Hanuman is not trying to connect to the internet or any private network. Then, I would try to filter out HTTP which is hypertext transfer protocol to check for the website that Hanuman is trying to access to. SSDP is simple service discovery protocol which is part of HTTP and it is used to check for discovery network service. Therefore, from here Hanuman is not trying to access any network service. Next. Let's take a look at APA DNS to see what are the domain requested by Hanuman. From here, you can see that it is trying to access to different domains, which end within a dre.rpar, which is reverse DNS. Lookup that is the determination of a domain name that is associated with the different IP address, shown using DNS of the internet. Example the domain requested is 1, 35. 168 192 in a dre.rpar the ip address will be 192 168 35 1 however for the domain i am not too sure about it lastly before i take second shot for red shot i will kill the process of hanuman in process explorer after taking the second shot
I will compare to see the changes of registries that red shot capture. It will appear in notepad. You can see the There are 8 keys added, 84 values added, and 14 values modified. But not all changes are being made by Hanuman, some are being made by Microsoft or other softwares. Let's see what registries Hanuman is trying to add, delete the modifies. Shell Norum is a string that we saw just now using Process Explorer, so it may be one of the values that Hanuman created. Here are more of it under keys added. So it may also be that Hanuman create the keys. By looking at this, it's possible that Hanuman had created that shell 32 DL L. And these are what Hanuman are trying to do. So there are a total of 106 changes. So that's all for the demonstration. I hope you enjoy watching this demonstration of basic dynamic analysis. Thank you.